Congrats on this. Thank you. Thank nice you. work. Yes. People that are classically trained in the theater miss that empathy that you get whenever you make movies because you don't really get to see how it lands or how it sticks. But if you go see it with the real audience, uh -huh. you're going to hear people laughing a little bit, yeah. and then all of a sudden, halfway through, you're going to hear this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Particularly in this movie, yeah. you hear yeah, that. Yeah, I think right. in this film, it just brings you on an emotional roller coaster. Right. Um, but yeah. It's, it's, and you're a knucklehead if you don't see that coming. You got to know you're getting that with this movie, but it delivers, and especially, I don't want to plot spoil. But the last act of this movie elevates it to much more than a movie. People are going to be dusting this off for years to come. Yeah, oh, that, that was the hopefully, hope. that's, the, that's the hope. We worked hard. Yeah. <laughs> now, they always say don't work with kids, don't work with dogs, don't work with animals. You did it. We worked with everything. Yeah, How I actually, I love working with animals. I don't know, like, if I was the first first AD, I would be saying the same thing. But Because <laughs> I'm sure it takes longer and there are all those things to consider. But in terms of acting, I feel like it really helps you to be in, in a scene with a dog because the dog's just being natural. Right. So you just are getting to respond naturally and you're not having to, like, repeat. You know what I mean? It keeps you really in the moment. Is there a favorite scene in this movie that, looking back on it, 20 movies from now, you look back and you go, man, we had fun making this one scene. There's this one scene I remember when, when, I, um, when I get into my apartment and you come. With the boxes? Yeah, and we're just sitting on the, on, on, in my new apartment on the floor, and there's like, how many dogs were there? Like, uh, like five. five, yeah. Five dogs of all different breeds. Yeah. Right. And there's this one dog, um, his name is Gary. He's ginormous. He's Irish like, wolfhound. He's huge, and it was just, it was just. We're just doing our scene, and then we have this big dog just going around yeah. everywhere. And that was, was the just... day we had ice cream on set that day oh, as well. Yes. I think oh, it was. That was a that great day. Cream. Yes. Um, yeah. I got to walk five of them at the same time on one day. That was that was a really fun. Uh, fun fun scene. scene too. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, ice cream on the set and a giant dog named Gary, and you yeah. call this work? I, right. <laughs> you know, yeah, that's what it felt like. No, because you know, on this on the set, it didn't it didn't really feel like work. Yeah, we were just enjoying ourselves. Mm -hmm. yeah. And there's this perfunctory discussion you have to have anytime you're around a movie like this. Do you have a dog? Did you have a dog? Tell me about your dogs. Uh, I do have a dog. Uh, she's an English bulldog called Marge. Um, I got her two years ago from a place called the Dog Cafe LA. Uh, they're like a rescue, like a cat cafe, but for rescue dogs. Right. She's been with me ever since. The mere mention of that, all kinds of people are going to look that up. You're going to save lives. I, just well, by hopefully, oh, yes. Yeah, dog Cafe LA. How are you? I've never had a dog. Ever? Uh, yeah. Um, my parents didn't let me have a dog when I was younger. But I had a bird, a pet bird. Yeah. Was your bird named Gary? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually named Birdie. Um, nice. But, I, but it was really so nice to be part of this film because I could at least pretend like I had a dog. Right. Uh, for the time being. So it was, well, it was just putting amazing. this out there, A Bird's Journey, that'd be a good movie too. Right. Uh -huh. A Bird's Journey, yeah. Yep. Yep. Right. So nice to oh, see you. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Thank you so Love much.